And we want to turn now to the Middle East. The ceasefire between Israel and Hamas looks very fragile tonight, with violence flaring up and posing an early threat to the new Israeli government. CBS's Charlie Daggett is in Tel Aviv tonight. Israeli airstrikes lit up the sky in Gaza, each thunderous explosion threatening to shatter the fragile ceasefire. Swift retaliation for incendiary balloons launched into Israel instead of a barrage of rockets this time. But the message from the Israeli military was just the same. We will strike back if attacked. A tit for tat triggered by the contentious right wing march allowed to go ahead in East Jerusalem, stopping short of Damascus Gate outside the old city. The new government has been criticized for allowing this to go ahead in the first place, considering the obvious risks. But had they canceled, they faced accusations of caving in to pressure. Pressure not just from Hamas threats, but angry Palestinians. It's the first test for the government of Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, just three days after pushing Benjamin Netanyahu out of power. Just last month, a similar march lit the fuse to an 11-day conflict between Israel and militants in Gaza that led to the deaths of 253 people. Tonight, tensions remain high. The Israeli military warning that fighting will resume if provoked. And today, more of those fire-carrying balloons have crossed into Israel from Gaza. Nora? Charlie Daggett, thank you.